Hey oh YouTube, it's Red Alchemy here, and welcome back to my channel once again. So, this week we are back in my bedroom here, and I'm going to actually be playing the Nintendo Switch this time. So I bought that iPega Project Diva controller for the Switch, and um, I know that Hisaki and Tokaku have already done videos on this, but they actually didn't talk about the fact that you can play this on things other than Project Diva. Uh, it basically works just like a regular controller, and you can play it on any game on the Nintendo Switch as far as I have seen so far. But let's go ahead and just get straight into the game and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. Uh, because the Switch also has a feature where you can remap buttons, so if the buttons don't match to what you need it to be, you just remap them. So let's go ahead and just play a couple games and I'm going to show you just how convenient and cool this controller has become for me. And I didn't even realize it did this when I bought it, so this has been a nice thing to find out. Alright, let's play some games. Alright, so I think I have this set up about as good as it's going to get. It is angled a little bit weird for me because I, uh, I have to have the camera and the lights and everything here, but um, I think I'm able to play it just fine from this angle at least. It, we'll see how it goes at least. Uh, now obviously this game is meant for Project Diva. Um, and it, it plays on Project Diva perfectly fine. However, you can watch anyone play Project Diva with a Project Diva controller. Um, something that I would like to show is actually the different amount of games that you can play with this controller. It's actually surprising. So really, any um, rhythm game that you can think of, you're going to be able to play. So let's just pick one here. Something that works a lot better than most rhythm games is a like a four button rhythm game. So this is Musinx. Uh, if you've never played it, it's a four to six button rhythm game. And this game is honestly perfect for this controller because you're able to play with four button mode. Um, you, you, we can do the six button mode as well, yes, but we'll get to that in a little while. Um, first, I just kind of wanted to show off just how perfect a four-button rhythm game works for this controller. I hope that you can see this pretty well. Here we go. It all works perfectly like the buttons are very responsive you can really do like alternating patterns and various things like that fairly easy when does the song end hello I don't I really okay it now it's over that was weird anyways um, as you can see though it's totally playable on 4k mode uh, 6k mode does work totally fine as well you just use these buttons up here so like I said, you are able to play 6K mode, so I've switched over to 6K mode here to show you exactly what I mean. Uh, I'm going to be using these six buttons up here to play, but the problem is that um, you, can't, you can't map some of these buttons to play in the game. 
So what you actually have to do, and this is really neat because this is what allows you to play this uh, controller on really any game that you that you come across for the Switch. You gotta go to settings first and then go down to controller and sensors, change button mapping. So this is a feature that's actually just built into the Switch and I had no idea about this until I you know, started doing research for this. And so if you just choose the controller that you know you wanna change the button as, I have the, the button mappings all set as presets, so I can just go to the button mapping, choose the Musinx 6K button mapping, and save that. Now it'll have a little icon next to it showing that the, the buttons have been remapped so that you are aware of it. We're going to go back to the game now. You just got to remember that the buttons are remapped now, so you got you to gotta know where the buttons are remapped to. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just play a song on 6k now and I'll now be able to use these buttons up here to play and I'm not even going to show this full song because there's really no point you're going to not, not even going to be able to see much of what I'm doing here I'm bad at 6k but as you can see I can use those buttons to play and it's I mean it's 100% playable so that's really cool uh, but let's move on to a different game because there are several other games that I figured out you can you can play this with but first uh, yeah we got to remember to go in here to controllers and sensors and reset the button mapping back to what it needs to be actually in this case I need to set it to a different mapping for the next game we're gonna play which in this case is going to be a game called Dark Witch Music Episode, Rudimical, Rudimical, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's actually a pretty fun game. Um, I've only played it a tiny bit, just kind of, you know, in preparation for this, to be honest, but um, it 100% works just fine. And I'm trying to remember exactly what I have this all mapped as. The confusing thing is that the balls and everything come at you at different speeds, so it's a little confusing, but there is a rhythm to it. <laughs> and we killed her. So as you can see, you're kind of like fighting someone as you're doing that. Uh, it's kind of almost like an art, like a, I don't know, you know, like an RPG or like a fighting game in a way, but <laughs> I didn't do very good. I did really bad actually. But the higher difficulty level, basically, you introduce more buttons, uh, and I've I've remapped them to, to what it is right now, but it could probably be remapped a little bit better to where, like, the blue balls are the blue button, and the red balls are the red button, and, like, so on and so forth, but I don't really have it mapped perfectly right now. But as you can see, it works really well, and uh, just one more game that this controller plays, so I don't know if I need to spend a whole lot of time on this game since I'm not very good at it. Let's move on to another one, because uh, once again, we're going to have to switch the controller over. Okay, so the next game we're going to be covering is actually Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Uh, if you've never played this game, it is a uh, rhythm game in the Kingdom Hearts series. Uh, the way that it plays is a little different, though. Uh, you do actually kind of you play a rhythm game but you're also fighting enemies and stuff at the same time so let's just go ahead and jump right into it and i'll show you what i mean so as you can see you start out on this uh like this track and you're able to attack and you kind of attack in the rhythm of the song that's where the like rhythm game comes in. Oh, there's a way to jump. Okay, so our jumps. And 
once you're in the air, you're able to kind of move around and collect these little notes. So at this point, it's kind of like catch the beat. And these big enemies, you have to hit multiple times. There we go, we got it. Oh, and these are the ones that you hit the uh, the other button. There's the four buttons that you use. Oh, I messed that up. I, I guess technically there's five buttons you use because you jump with R. I mean, I messed that up bad. You can see where there's a lot going on. But it's really not that bad of a game. So there's one more game you're able to play with it. And this this video is just going to be a series of me doing really bad in all these games, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, so it, it plays perfectly fine. It's really fun, actually. And it's one of the, the more fun ones that I've tried so far. Some of them, you know, it's like, man, it's cool that it plays, but it's, you know, not that awesome. Um, something that I do really like to play on this, though, is the next game here. So we're taking the button mapping back just down to normal this time because we're actually going to be playing Muse Dash this time. And Muse Dash, you're able to play it without having to remap the buttons, which is nice. But Muse Dash is definitely one of my favorite games to play with this just because it works so well on this thing. Now I'm not going to cover like every single game either. You're able to play like Groove Coaster as well with this, but Groove Coaster is a lot like, you know, some of the other games. So you don't, I don't think you really need to see that. But uh, we will be covering one more game after this one, though. So uh, you'll see what I mean whenever we get there. You've probably already seen it in the menu anyway, so... Alright. Let's do it. So this game, uh, if you've never played Muse Dash, is just a... It's a side-scrolling game where you attack enemies once again to the beat. But this time, you're kind of doing just two notes, really. There's low notes and high notes, like that. So as you can see, the right side of the controller controls the lower notes, and the the left side of the controller controls the, the, the higher notes. So you can alternate between the, the two buttons on either side. Once again, I'm doing really bad. It's really hard to talk and play a rhythm game at the same time. But yeah, so once again, it plays perfectly fine. You don't even need to remap anything this time. It just works right out of the box, so that's nice. Um, this is definitely one of my more favorite ones to play, but there is one more game I want to show you here. Yeah, we're playing Archaea. So whenever I first, you know, got this controller, like I said, I wanted to, to try playing this. And I thought, you know, you could use the touch panel for the, the lasers even. Didn't really think about the fact that at like present difficulty and above, the lasers move in different directions, so it just really won't work like that. But it definitely works, at least, especially on a lower difficulty, but even on higher difficulties, you can use these joysticks for the lasers, so it really does, it works still, um, but not as well as some of the other games. So let's just go ahead and play a song real quick and I'll show you what, my, what I mean. Alright, so first I'm going to play a song on past difficulty just to show you what I mean about, like, you definitely are able to play with the, the, the touch panel for the lasers. It's just, you know, not perfect. Because it's a 4K rhythm game, so you would think it works pretty good, but, I mean, well, actually, it does work pretty good. I do actually play like this sometimes, but really, if you're going to play in controller mode, you might as well just play with a controller. Or better yet, just play in touch mode.
See, it doesn't work that great. Like, it's really just better to use the... Just to use the joysticks. Like, it doesn't register your touches right with Arkea. But you see, with the joysticks, it works just fine. And this is really what I end up doing in present anyways, is just using the joysticks like this. And it works. It works just fine. It's just not great. Alright, let's go ahead and just play a present difficulty song. I'd rather show you that. Yeah, finally, for once, I'm in this video, I'm doing okay on a song. <laughs> in fact, I even beat my high score um, by quite a bit, so that's nice, cool. Um, but yeah, so that's that's uh, that's Archaea with this thing. It works just fine, really, if you're okay with, like, you know, moving back and forth between the joysticks and the buttons. Uh, all I had to do was uh, remap X and B as, re like, switched to get it to work right. Um, but it's, I mean, it's really fun, honestly, still, and even though I do prefer to play controller mode with a controller, this works just fine, really. Like, you're able to play with it, and I do sometimes, so. But yeah, this, uh, I hope that gives you a little bit of a look at this thing. I really like this thing a lot for what it is. Uh, unfortunately, the prices on it have gone up like crazy because they're, it's like, it's out of stock on Amazon, which is where I got it, but, um, I didn't pay anything crazy for it. I paid, like, $80 USD for it, with, that was including shipping from Japan and everything, so it really was not that bad for a little controller like this. Uh, the only thing I've noticed so far is the B button is sticking a tiny little bit. Not a lot, just a tiny little bit sometimes, which is weird because that's the button that Tokaku's controller, like, was messed up on. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a coincidence. I've actually already ordered some replacement, uh, switches to go inside it, and whenever those get here, I'm gonna replace them anyway, so I'll probably clean it all out when I do that, and it should fix that problem. Alright, well, that's really all I wanted to show you. There, there are plenty of other rhythm games on the Switch, obviously. You could play really anything, and in fact, I've even been playing some other games. Like, you can play just normal games with this thing. I've been playing Trials Rising with this a little bit. Um, it works just fine. Let me show you that real quick, actually, because I feel like that might be interesting to see. Luckily, you're able to hit A to, like, go, so I don't even need to, like, remap anything. It actually just works. Um, but, it, I mean, it's, it's you know, I wouldn't say that it, like, is more ergonomic or, like, better to play this way with this game. But, I mean, hey, if, uh, if it makes you happy, you might as well, right? And, I mean, I honestly, I do sit there and play this game with this controller sometimes. I know it sounds, like, ridiculous, but... It works decently enough, and, um, I don't know, I have fun playing it like this. It honestly makes me feel like I'm playing, like, an arcade game or something in a way. Oh, man, I'm doing really bad. But, I mean, it works just fine, really, for what it is. So yeah, that was Trials with this controller. I mean, it works just fine, really. But yeah, that was this. I really hope you enjoyed this. I know it's been a little bit weird and disjointed, but the possibilities here are endless, and I've really enjoyed just playing around with it. So uh, if you get a chance to get this thing for a decent price, I highly recommend it. All right, guys, that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Leave me a comment while you're at it, and tell me if you would buy this controller. I actually like this controller a lot for what it is, so... Alright, well, that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching, and everyone have a great life. See you later. Bye bye